What's up, people of YouTube? Today, it is a cold, chilly December day, and I promise you guys, I'm not about to hit up a casino or a bank or crack into any safe or anything. Today, it's about nighttime fishing for striper or speckled trout. And I'm actually driving with some uh, minnows that are at my uh, feet right now. Uh, just got them from the tackle shop. Just got me some gudgeons. And um, probably not the safest thing for me to be doing right now while I'm driving is to be recording myself and also driving with some minnows in between my feet. Uh, anyways, but that's not the point. The point is today I'm hopefully going to be taking y'all along with me on my journey of catching some nighttime striper bass. And uh, so today we're gonna be fishing some light lines, uh, we're gonna be fishing some docks, and just some structure uh, in the back of some of the creeks and inlets um, in my home waters of Virginia Beach. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the camera down, and I'll see you guys when we get to the spot. All right, y'all, here we go. dude. I saw these and I was like, that's probably gonna be pretty nasty right there. Yeah, like a little minnow. Feel free to get down on that. All right, y'all, so finally we made it out to our spot. And today I'm gonna be using two different setups simultaneously. I'm gonna be using this Berkeley Gulp little mud minnow kind of imitation. It's just Berkeley Gulp minnow and it's uh, pearl silver is the color and I'm just going white on white today. Um, with it being super cold, you know, uh, a lot of the shrimp have kind of moved out. So this is going to imitate their forage best, which, you know, when it gets cold, then they're going to be feeding on some of these like mud minnows and gudgeons, things like that, which is why I'm going to be simultaneously fishing um, little mud minnows here just these are gudgeons just hooking them right through the lip so they can swim freely and I'm actually gonna add these little split shot weights just to kind of get it down all right y'all so I've got my setup right here got my little gudgeon in the water and then I'm gonna be using my Berkeley gulp right here simultaneously and sun's going down hopefully the bite's gonna turn on fish oh I had a fish not even kidding there he is again yeah that's what I'm talking about y'all all right okay okay all right y'all listen up this is a dink trout but it's December and my buddy David and I are bored out of our minds and we're getting a little cabin fever. And uh, I don't care. We're catching fish. It's winter time. That's a bite. That's a nice one. Oh, no, it's not. But he's running towards the boat. It's trout. Come in here. Second trout of the day. A little dink. But they're here. All right, you guys, so uh, we came to our first spot and we hit like like four or five small speckled trout, but right now we are actually trolling. Uh, we're gonna go to another spot real quick. Um, it's dead slack tide right now, which is not good, especially right now um, with this really, really cold weather. Actually, an incoming tide can be better because sometimes the water might be warmer in the ocean and that incoming tide can bring in that warmer water. So we're gonna hit some of these docks, some of these light lines, and uh, it's time to get down on it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm gonna be fishing this popping cork and I've got, I'm just using the popping cork as a bobber. And we are gonna be rocking out just going right through the lip, letting this dude swim. You can swim, just not too much. <laughs> Don't tangle my line. David's hooked up. Uh, 
Not bad, dude. That's that's probably right at keeper size. Yep. That's not bad at all. It's a little fatso. That's a fish. Good one. Oh, not bad. Come in here. Sweet. All right, y'all. Getting better. David's was probably right at keeper size. This one's probably just short. But again, we're out here and we are making it happen. It at night here in Virginia Beach in the dead of winter. Richmond's got like a foot of snow right now and we're catching speckled trout. That is awesome. Oh, 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 right there. I saw that. I saw it. Right off the back, dude. I saw it. That was a striper. It, okay. Right off that pontoon boat. Right off the back of it. Right in the light. That's, this is the dock that I was looking at. It's got the fluorescent light. I will. I'm just gonna creep up. Nice cast. <gasps> Are you on? You on? Nice, nice. Nice. Let me know if you want the net. Let me know if you want the net or if you want to flip them. Pretty work, pretty work, pretty work, what? Come on. Trout. I want to do a catch and cook on one. That's why I want to get a uh, 20 incher. Oh, good one. Good one. Come in here. Yeah. We're getting on these striped bass right in these dock lines. He's not a giant, but we'll take it. Definitely not a giant, but fun. It's so fun. On. on the fall, dude. <laughs> Get in here. Dang, he's probably like 17. I, I need a 20 incher. All right, y'all. A little 17 inch fatty. That's awesome. That's why we come and fish dock lights. All right. He's on. Oh, good one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me net it because I want to catch and cook this one. Sick. That's why we come out here. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so sick. Dude. That is awesome. That is so sick. 
That's a good bass. That's a fatty. All right, y'all. Definitely doing a catch and cook tonight. Oh, that is so sick. All right, let me get us back in the zone. There's got to be like at least like 10 more of these guys in there. Oh, that's the cast right there. There it is. I, dude, bank shot. <laughs> if you can get it deep in the light, that's where they're at. I don't know. Not really. Yeah. Oh, man. So fun. All right, y'all. It's like striper number five or six off this dock. Not too bad. All right, y'all. One of the other things um, when fishing these dock lines dock lights the light lines is casting accuracy and the other thing is handling your trolling motor because let's see here right there that's the spot right there. these berkeley gulp um minnows on a three quarter ounce jig head are getting it done actually it's kind of like more effective than a live minnow But as I was saying, so when you're fishing these dock lights, you gotta kind of be stealthy. These fish do spook pretty easy. Um, so you have to really like make sure if you have a trolling motor, then you're able to kind of, David just busted again. Another one, same spot. So David just casted and uh, he hit it on a pontoon boat. And he was saying that a lot of people, they make the mistake of going after um, their lure to get it. And obviously that's gonna spook all your fish away. Okay. I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> That's a good one. What's up, you guys? So here I am back in the warm comfort of my house and just want to give you guys a description of a little bit more intel on kind of fishing dock lights and how you guys can duplicate this day of fishing that we had it was super fun it was awesome also check out this santa claus father christmas can we get a zoom on father christmas check this out you guys christy and i we found this gnome or whatever this is um in our apartment so anyways dock lights fishing dock lights is awesome any time that you're catching fish in the winter that's a bonus uh one of the cool things that we saw um when we got close to the dock lights is just tons of little 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 minnows all throughout inside of the lit up area and i've fished dock lights before um fished stripers before but it's one of those things where really until you see it then you can fully understand it so um that's kind of the observations that i was making along the way is that for you guys who want to fish dock lights, uh, the best way to do that is the brighter the dock light, obviously the better, but a dock light is also kind of like current. Uh, so those predator fish are going to sit sometimes on the edge of that dock light and any of the bait fish that's come swimming through that, that's when they're going to ambush it. So, um, that's something that you guys want to keep in mind when fishing dock lights is um, you want to cast into the dock light, but you also want to fan cast to the outer edges of the dock light. And a lot of times that's where those predator fish are going to be. You do want to keep your 
ears open to like you're fishing a creek and a lot of times when those striper or the predator fish are going to be hitting uh the bait fish in the dock lights number one you can see the, like a splash um that's how we got on the fish that we did uh this evening as i could hear splashes and you can actually see it too uh, you can also see the big striper too like in the dock light so um hopefully you guys got some good um knowledge and some hopefully you guys enjoyed that content of this video that i posted christy and i we're probably gonna be doing a lot more fishing like this because it was a blast you guys definitely got to get out there you don't even need a boat uh just get out and fish a dock that's got some good lights and get out there and catch yourself some striped bass so you guys stay tuned for part two of this video when christy and i are going to do a catch and cook and we're going to cook and fillet these nice tasty chesapeake bay striped bass all right you guys peace out